For nearly a century, a magnificent collection of all life forms has been quietly growing right here in New Mexico. And this afternoon, the public was invited to see it for the first time. News 13's Stephanie Chavez was there and shows us. Taxidermied rodents and birds, a platypus in a jar, and at least a dozen parasites. Schistosomes are a parasitic worm that goes between people and a freshwater snail host. This is only a small glimpse inside the work of the Museum of Southwestern Biology at the University of New Mexico. We do research on samples from the natural world that we archive and curate and secure behind these walls. Dr. Christopher Witt, the director of the museum, says there's more than 4 million specimens, big and small, from animals to plants stored in the facility. The research is used to understand uh, species, uh, populations, and communities in the natural world. He says the materials are used in over 150 scientific journals each year. How they evolve, how they interact, how they adapt to their environments, and critically, how they're changing over time. For the first time today since the museum launched back in 1938, they decided to put some of the most interesting samples they've collected over the last 81 years on display for the general public. Because we're, we're busy with our research, we don't get a lot of opportunities to share with the local community. It was a chance to see the world and all its creatures through a different perspective. We're hoping to give people a better understanding of parasites in general. Um, how, yes, they can be icky and scary, but they can also be crazy, wonderful, complicated things that don't necessarily cause the harm we think they do. Stephanie Chavez, KRQE News 13. We asked if the museum will ever open to the public again. Staff told us it's possible, but it'll be based on the success of today's event.